Gonna start the show. I'm starting the show. Girl, I've been thinking something going wrong. Say you got an attitude. Say you're not in the mood like you used to. Girl, I can feel it when I hold you in my arms. The feeling is not the same. I'll be the one to say, I don't want to lose love. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say bye-bye. No, no, no. True love is so hard to find. And it's right between your legs and mine. And my heart before I let go. Can I get a kiss? Good night. Baby, can I get it? Yo, that's one of the hottest joints ever. That's one of the hottest joints. Ooh. Tossing them that yo, they told that shit. Black Street. I don't wanna lose you. Oh my god. I was listening to that before I got in the house to come do this show. I need you here with me right now. Don't wanna lose you. Listen, 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 listen here. Man, y'all got to understand, who's that? Antonio Dalton, Dawson, Ruru. Arr, arr, arr. Yes, sir. Let me see who's in here at first. I got to, I got, yo, I got something for y'all. I want y'all to go check this out. Taj, what's up, man? Taj, this you on in the UK. Taj, your wife know you still up? <laughs> That's one of my mama. Hey, Kim Sapphire, what's going on with you, mama? I gotta get some. All right, Diamond, Diamond Short, are you back? Diamond Short, did you like that show earlier? Did you like the jewels I put down earlier, Diamond Shorty? Left, what up with you, boy, boy? Tanya Breeze, Monique Irvin, Daddy is Warlaw. These are all our people just members. Gotta shout them out. What up, Outlaw24? Yo, I welcome y'all back, Leo. What's good? Man, listen to me, man. It's, it's good when you got patience like the farmer and you plant the seed and you wait till it grow. You understand? You wait till it's grow, but in the meantime, you keep the grass low so you can see the snakes when they come. You feel me? You keep the grass low so you can see the snakes when they come. Check this shit out, y'all. It's a bunch of new niggas in our world today that's fucking it up for hip hop and the culture of hip hop. It's a bunch of new niggas. A gift and a curse podcast. Salute. That is what up with your boy, boy. These new niggas want to portray like they real, like they was there, like they they was all about the culture. They did this and they do that, but they they it's it's, it's just a bunch of like a like a like a crab in a bucket. One get up, the other one try to pull them down. Now I let everybody know why I came here. 
MREC could not, you know, do what I wanted to do. I was here to make sure that y'all knew the information that I was giving y'all throughout the years. I gave y'all way more information than the puff shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I wore a lot of hats. I have people calling me about situations and personal things in their life and I try to help them. Then I get the crazies. I get the chicks that's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Listen here, I'm a vet in this game. I'm a vet in this game of life. I've been through the highs, I've been through the lows. Ain't nobody never took nothing from me but advice. Shout out to Big K Fame. One of his favorite lines. Let me say this to y'all. This show tonight is a vindication for my man Wolf. Anthony Wolf Jones. This is a vindication for Anthony Wolf Jones. Charlene Campbell. What's up, Miss Campbell? Monique Irvin. Charles Wilson. Charles, they've been using those Willie Lynch papers for years on us. They even got blacks thinking that we were all came over here on slave ships and we was all slaves. When you see Benjamin Banneker is the one who designed D.C. He was a black man. I'm going to break that down real quick before I start this. There's a lot of papers, the George Washington papers, Columbus diaries, that prove we as men of color, we were natives here. 50,000 years ago, walked across the Barren Straits. We were natives here before anybody. But we got these weirdos out here want to believe and have us believe that we came over here on slave ships. No, I'm not a Mason. I'm an educator. I'm an educator. Not a Mason. I'm an educator, brother. I got two different degrees. One right here. One right there. University of Tennessee, Jefferson College. I'm an Omega man. Miss Pinky 84, she said, I love your book. I'm not finished with it. I'm not finished, Big Jean. Miss Pinky said, thanks for the super chat. I love your book, but I'm not finished, Miss. I'm not finished, Big Jean. She didn't say Big Jean in there, but I'll just do that in there. Thank you, Miss Pinky. Now, me knowing the history of our people, Pat Moore, Monique Irvin, Monique Hill, me knowing the history of our people and the real, I could come share a lot of shit with y'all. And give it to you a hundred. 
Let me just say this. We got a bunch of new niggas that's running this hip hop. Hey, Daphne. That's running this hip hop. Appreciate you, Daphne. And this YouTube shit. Ain't nothing fancy about what I do. I come right down here in my sub basement. In my sub basement. Basement, sub basement, first floor, second floor. No, basement, sub basement, floor. A floor, a floor, by level. And I don't, I can't type shit up. I don't have flashing screens and all this shit like this. But if you look at about 60% of what's happening in the urban community and what they talking about on YouTube, a lot of times these motherfuckers didn't got it out my mouth. I'm going to keep it a buck. Mizzy Honey been a, 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 a member for four months. Let them know Mizzy Honey. She said, I've been on Gene Pay. I've been doing this with Gene for four months. Let them know, my mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, I can't do none of this fancy shit. But the truth is better than all that shit. The knowledge is better than all that fancy shit. Because people come here to see the real. If you check out what I said earlier, it was the real. Now, let's get to what's going on. A couple of weeks ago, I had a conversation with Choke No Joe. And Choke told me that, uh, you know, Suge spoke on that wolf shit. I was like, your word? I said, what did he say? He said that it appeared to him that wolf didn't, he didn't say that directly, but Wolf didn't shoot Jake. I was like, yo, when the shit is coming out? When the shit is coming out, Joe? He said, it'll be out next week. So I'm like, waited for a week. It didn't come out. So I'm hitting choking the, yo, choke, when the shit is going to come out? Because we was talking. We was talking. It's going to come out. It may come out. They got to do a little something. I got to do something to it because he said he works on the project the whole nine yards. Okay. He said he had to tweak it. Then he's going to send it to Dave Mays. Dave Mays was going to tweak it and put it out. I said, all right, cool. I'll wait for it. So he calls me up on Monday. He said, calls me up on Sunday and said, yo, Gene, it's coming out tomorrow. I'm happier than a faggot in a barrel of You know what I'm no diddy. <laughs> Stop it, John. I'm happy because I want to hear what Shug has to say. Because I know the truth and I've been speaking the truth for years. I know the truth at many <laughs> Mimi Flo. Steve uh, Wilbur. I know the truth, Mr. Universe. And I I want to hear it from a witness who was right there. Shook went to tell his story. 
that Jake got a number from the girl, but they knew the girl. The girl was from California. And like Mark Curry had said on, I think that that nigga name is Gully TV. Mark Curry said it on Gully TV that the Jake, uh, 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 the Jamaican niggas had killed him, right? Been doing that. Know where they from? Know his father had to clean his over in the Bronx, the whole nine yards. They from the valley. Been doing that. Been said it. Caught a flat with this half a homo ass nigga because I didn't mention his program. And then he going to say I got it from his program because I said what he, Mark Curry said the Jamaican dude had said. So I'm like, because the Jamaican dude said, me not no find of yours. Me don't watch television. I repeated what Mark Curry said. This is how these half a homo niggas get down. If you don't get them the credit because you hear something, you repeat it. These niggas bitched up. I would like to get on the elevator with them niggas. I'm 60 years old. I would like to get on the elevator with these niggas to the first floor to the 20th. Bet they don't make it to the six. American Negro. What up with you? Thank you, American Negro. Original sounds. What up with you, boy, boy? So now, no, origin, origin, origin signs, origin, origin, no, origin signs. Sorry about that. Peace to my brother, Big Cheek, Big Gene. Keep pumping the truth and the righteous run with like that. All right. Y'all can read too. John Wynn, what's up with you, boy? So now, these niggas get upset. So I'm waiting on this shit. So in the process, yo, I can show you. CNN, Fox News, ABC, all kind of cable network shows. I got about 15 to 20 shows in my phone that's been trying to get me on to do a show with them. Or a dialogue in 24 hours, he did almost close to a million views on that one thing that we did. And he didn't put out the best shit. He put out the weakest joint first. To me. Shrink, shrinky, Sarah, Sharon. Shrink, shrink, shrinky, Sharon. And Matrix Manny. What up with y'all? So now. I'm waiting on this shit. Yo, I'm told you I'm waiting on this shit. Nice shit to come. And I sat there and I listened to every word should came out. I didn't even fast forward to the commercials because I didn't want to miss shit. This is the last show Suge Knight did. Yo, listen to me. I'll point you to YouTubers, the whole nine. Because I don't give, yo, this ain't, this, listen to me. I don't make my money. I don't get my money. I don't depend on YouTube for a motherfucking thing. I've asked my daughters. I've asked certain people, yo, take this shit because if it's monetized, I get fucked up at the end of the year. I have a pension and I have other things going on. Appreciate all the love I get, though. So now, Choke tells me, after I told him, CNN, nigga, do CNN. The fuck all that other shit. Don't do what you call, don't do that. Do CNN. I oh, man, yo, listen to me, man. Let me tell you something, man. 
them niggas ain't paying me a motherfucking dime to sit there and talk about nobody. And I'm not talking about saying nothing to none of them motherfuckers unless it benefits Gene Deal. And right now, I don't see CNN, Fox, or nobody benefiting Gene Deal on shit. These niggas just cost me motherfucking money. They just cost me money. Because I'm not going to sit around and let a motherfucker straight up and lie on me. We not doing that. We not doing that. My lawyer had to draft this shit right here. Oh, let me see. My lawyer had to draft this shit up right here to Fox. Them niggas told a blatant lie on me. I don't know if y'all can see that. I know motherfuckers taking pictures of that shit like that. That's one of the best motherfucking lawyers you can find. I'm telling you, he drafted that shit to me, for me. Got to send it, sending it straight to motherfucking Fox News legal department. Not playing, you not lying on Gene Deal. I never said I saw Puff drug no women. You lying and the truth ain't in you. Had my picture up there. Ran parts of all the dialogue and shit like that, trying to misscrew my words and all this other bullshit. Man, fuck y'all, nigga. I'm going to pay it. If I got to pay it, I'm going to pay it. I'm not going to sit around here and, 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 and nobody. So now, I didn't do CNN. They got Vlad, they got Mark, uh, Curry, the whole nine yards. Didn't do Fox, didn't do none of that. Did all the dialogue. Got a relationship with him. No Diddy. We got a business relationship. Choke tells me. Yo, you know motherfucking Vlad DCNN and said that he was the Wikipedia of fucking hip hop? I said, my man, I told you I was going at Vlad once the Suge Knight shit dropped. And I told him I'm going to bring that shit up on my show. Is it all right? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Cool. This is what I tell this nigga. But before I told him this, I had to say, Eric Minion is a member, y'all. Eric Minion. Eric Minion. Eric Minion is a member, y'all. Oh, Eric Minion. Eric Minion. Eric Minion is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership, Mr. Minion Senior. Appreciate you being a member of the Gene Deal Show. Eric Minion. Eric Minion. Eric Minion is a senior, y'all. Yeah, he's a member. Yeah, he's a member. Eric Minion Senior is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership, brother. So I'm telling this nigga, I'm going to use that choke because I'm going to play upon that along with. I'm going to talk about the wolf shit. 
this nigga gets on my show, my moderators is hitting me up. You understand? Because I told them, no matter what Choke say, don't ever block him, man. Fuck that. You know, I don't give a fuck about that. Choke is a good nigga. This stuff. I'm, I'm talking to my moderators like that. But then my moderator hit me up and say, yo, this nigga say you was capping. You ain't no shit about the Vlad shit uh, that what he had said about on CN and stuff like that. I went to look at it, but you didn't know nothing about it until you talked to him. That's true. But yet and still, nigga, what the give? What I give a fuck where you get the information? Is it a valid information? Then I go look at it and then I go and mention it. Why does it affect these niggas out here like this? That they get so fucking upset because you didn't give them the. You didn't say, well, I got it from Choke or I got it from this nigga. I got it from that nigga. You niggas need to wake the fuck up. It's too much other shit to go out here. It's too much other shit that's going on that's fucked up. We got motherfucking 50 kids, 50 female girls. Black girls missing in fucking Cleveland. Ain't none of you half a homos niggas mention that shit. I talked about it. Ain't none of you niggas worrying about what state of the world we going to as black people. You worrying about if a nigga mention your name because he heard you said something. Sandra, thanks for that super sticker, mama. Appreciate you. Nate S., what's good with you? Pat Moore, Derek Johnson. Love seeing y'all in here. My man, when men conversate, and I've reached out to him several times, don't answer the phone. When men conversate, We're supposed to come and grace in harmony when you're having a conversation. But I understand that a lot of this YouTube shit is niggas' livelihoods. They got to have it. They need it like a hog needs slop. Now let's get to Mr. Vlad ass. Vlad been running this whole lot about how the hip hop, since he's the Wikipedia of hip hop, he been running this whole lot how Bad Boy and Death Row was beefing because somebody from Bad Boy killed Jake. God is good. God is good. This has been on every news outlet because this lion ass Greg Kading picked it up and started to run with it. I want to know did Miss Pleasant come through? I put her uh, thing to her as a guest. You know, she didn't come through. I guess she's she's tight. She sleep or something. Yeah. Lisa Jackson, salute to you. You are always great information. Appreciate you, Lisa Jackson. Respect, Mister Deal. Those who show 
a negative reaction when you share your stories and speak the truth? Are you the individuals who live in a lie, admit to the truth, or have secrets they cancel? Thank you, thank you. Who was that? I gotta get his name. I'm a fuck racking. <laughs> I'm a fucking racking. <laughs> oh my god. That petty, that pretty mess. That pretty mess. Only a nobody will lie on somebody to be a somebody. <laughs> Suge Knight said that uh all right. My life literally. King Jean, keep it all the way real. Thank you, Mama. Appreciate you. That's my life literally. This my life literally, Jean. I don't care what nobody say. You can say whatever you say. It's my life literally. <laughs> okay, my life literally. <laughs> okay. Dream Master, I got you, boy. I owe you a call. Listen. They've been running this shit that Wolf killed Jake. And everybody in the motherfucking hip hop world uh, 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 believed that shit. You had lying ass Jermaine Dupree going out there saying he saw Wolf kill Jake. He would have never opened his motherfucking mouth if Wolf was living. Nigga ran out on me with 1500 at the fight. Only reason I ain't go after that motherfucker was because of Bob and my brother said I'm going to holler at Bob. Bob used to be his bodyguard. I don't know if Bob is still bodyguard. I don't know their situation. But the nigga ran out me and Bob was from St. Louis and we wasn't going to put that kind of pressure on another St. Louis nigga because St. Louis niggas, no matter what, when they outside of St. Louis, they stick together. Bob was a good nigga. But this the kind of nigga, this the kind of trouble these little niggas get motherfuckers in. Cause I had plenty of family members that was GDs and motherfucking bloods or whatever other, to make a phone call say your nigga press that nigga. This nigga gets on major platforms and say, oh, I saw Wolf shoot Jake. Wolf got kids. Wolf got parents. And he's one of the motherfuckers that told that Wolf lie. But God is good. One of the witnesses who was there. He said Jake had words with a nigga at the bar. That's because Jace was talking to a nigga wife reckless. Because he knew her from Cali. Saying, oh, you fucking these East Coast niggas now. If you believe the story, Mark Curry, he said he was right there. If you believe his story, he said, Jake said, Oh, you fucking these East Coast niggas now. A nigga took offense to that. Now, this is where Wolf gets vindicated. It's a problem. Jermaine Dupree then ran and hid up on a fucking desk. Jake come outside. Suge Knight said it on the thing. Somebody passed a gun. The nigga shot Jake and took off running. The nigga shot Jake and took off running. Wolf was still right there. Next to Suge. Should grab Puff. 
Wolf pulled the hammer out on shoe and said, put him down, man. Let him go. Let him go, man. Suge and Wolf was cool. Suge understood that was his little man. He was working for Puff the whole nine yards, but he was a boss too. Wolf was only just working for Puff. He was holding him down, but y'all don't understand that was Wolf money who started Bad Boy. That was partly Wolf money. So Suge let him go. Wolf was right there. The nigga that shot Jake took off running. Tracy Wolf said, I watched it. It was good. Fiery Stone, I started with Puff years ago, man. Go watch those. Go watch Raw Deal 1, 2, and 3, bro. You can't come in the middle of, I've been doing this shit for 40 years and say, and then you'll say, oh, how do you, hey, uh, buddy, uh, how did you start with Puff Daddy? How did you get the job? Wasn't a job. Puff was part of our crew, the same game. I was watching out for him. That's how I start. I'm watching out for him. Because back then, certain niggas, if you wasn't for certain cliques, they would rob you, try to extort you the whole nine yards. How to buy a book. You can go on Amazon and buy a book. You can go on Amazon and you can order my world of bodyguard the hip hop star or right there. You can cash out. This right there. I only have, I think five of these are already sold. I probably got seven left, if that many. Probably got seven left. And I'm not signing no more books until the second one come out. And the second one will be out April 4th. And I just had a young lady just call me and say, what's she say? What's she say? Hold on, hold on. What's she say? She ain't, I love your book. That was pinky. I ain't finished reading it already, but I love it. That was she said. And I wrote it myself, every word. The first book that Doc helped me edit it. But other than that, I wrote the second one all by myself too. The second one gonna have, the second one is fire. I'm letting you know. I know niggas talk all that bullshit. The second one is fire. I'm giving you I'm giving you a lot of shit in the sec. This shit is crack one. And I already started on the third one. I didn't already started on the third one. I'm not playing. I'm getting this shit out of my system and getting this out of my life. After I do that third one, I'm going to do that cookbook for y'all. Show young brothers how to cook quick and, and, and delicious meals. So when they trying to entice the woman or they trying to feed their kids some good food, soul food, they'll know how to do it they damn self. It's one thing Eddie Deal and Jan Robinson taught us. They taught us how to sew, how to cook, and how to clean.
No, I didn't release it on Biggie's birthday. I couldn't because I couldn't get the artwork done. Sapphire, Sapphire. I thought you'd release it on Biggie's birthday. No, I couldn't get the, uh, um, that was Biggie's death. And then somebody said Biggie's birthday, I think it's May, right? May the 21st or something like that. No, I'm releasing it on my daughter's birthday, April 4th. So now, Jermaine Dupree went on a national platform and said, I saw Wolf shoot Jake. Motherfucker lying and the truth ain't in him. You see how these and you these clown ass niggas, these half a homo ass niggas do? Go sit up there and want to say he saw this man shoot him. I spoke to Wolf himself. He said, man, I should have never fell out with Shug behind this nigga Puff. Me and that nigga was cool. I know Shug ain't had no problem with Wolf because the day we was in Envy's together. I'm in the cut. I told the story before. My kid's mother come to the door. Bad Bayesian woman. She comes through the door. I'm checking out. I see this big nigga checking that girl. She's, he's, she coming through the door. He stops right in front of her. He said, hey, ma. He said, he said, he said hey, baby, or something like that. She's like, oh, sure, night. And I'm looking. And now I ain't saying nothing. He hugs her. When she hugs her, she turns her head to the side, and I'm right there looking. I said, it's time to get your ass home now, right? Thought that motherfucker was Speedy Gonzalez. She got out that club so fast. Pew! <laughs> oh, it's time. It's time for you to go home now, right? She ain't say nothing. She took her ass home. Yeah, I was jealous. <laughs> Let me see what the people are saying. No, I wasn't jealous. You like art, but why I keep getting art all the press? You you deal with people that's honorable towards you. You understand what I'm saying? You deal with the people that's good towards you. Why shouldn't I? None of these other person, people are doing nothing for Big Gene. Hoss, what up with you, boy? Like Kayla, what up, La Kayla? What up, Mama? Thank you for all that. Let's see what the newcomers. So now I'm fighting because I'm trying to get everybody to believe me that Wolf did not kill Jake. All this shit was set up and put apart on the media to say it's an East Coast, West Coast war, to say that's why the California niggas don't what you call. Suge Knight and Wolf is in the same motherfucking club. Sugar's at this end of the bar. Zipnum is in the middle. They all in the same club. Wolf and his crew is at the end of the club. At the end of the other, at the other bar. At the end of the other bar. You know when Envy had that bar, the people from New York know what I'm talking about. Because on Sunday nights, this place used to be crazy. You lose your mind. The tunnel was for the young wild niggas. Envy's was, was for the sophisticated niggas that want to dress 
and come and put it on. I don't have no pictures up here. I left them in the car. I could show you. You had to put it on in Envy's to get in that motherfucker. KS KSG, yes. World Traveler Wellston in the house. Yes, sir. Representing for JB and Associates. Y'all heard that. So now, Suge Knight said the shooter of Jake shot Jake and ran. And ran. Wolf was still at the scene. Wolf was still there when the ambulance came. Wolf didn't run nowhere. When I told y'all the shooter Jake ended up getting killed at a motherfucking club himself, I was telling the truth. Vlad is talking about he's the Wikipedia of hip hop. So, Mr. Vlad, you go straighten that shit out. You go tell the truth. I'm doing the show and I'm going to call you right back as soon as I finish, okay? You go tell the truth. You go straighten that shit out because the eyewitness who was right there said the shooter shot Jake and ran from the scene. Wolf never left the scene. Jazzy boy, die hard fish. What up with you? Y'all, uh, Jazzy boy, uh, Puff ain't got no criminal charges against him yet. You understand? They trying to formulate some stuff. And while they formulating shit, all I know is Sharon Collins is a member, y'all. Uh, Sharon Collins. <laughs> Sharon Collins. Sharon Collins is a member, y'all. Oh, Sharon Collins. Yeah, Sharon Collins. Sharon Collins is a member, y'all. Sharon. Sharon. Sharon Collins is a member, y'all. Go, Sharon Collins. Thank you for your membership, Mama. We appreciate that. Yo, my man, the arrogance this, this guy Vlad had just shown about hip hop and the people, I want this motherfucker to clear Wolf name. Cause on his platform, he ran that fucking story and kept saying, oh yeah, uh, my sources, my, you ain't got no motherfucking sources. Nine times out of 10 when I'm talking about shit, I was there. When we talk about that shit in the day, I was there. If I tell you I heard, I heard. Now you weigh that shit with a grain of salt any kind of way you want to. See right here. Let me tell you some of you dumb motherfuckers something. When you get an ignorant motherfucker, where is that? Yo, uh, left. This is some dude in here just got through saying that Puff let me know what drinks were spiked. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, get his motherfucking ass out of here if you can find him. Because that's some old stupid shit. Right here. Come on, Mr. Turner. I, 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 I expect you to be better than that. You know what I'm saying? You've been around for a minute. Now you're not around. Motherfucker, let me just tell you something, man. Nobody did dumb shit around me. I got daughters, I got nieces, I got cousins that used to come to the motherfucking parties. I'm not letting that shit go down around me. You can say whatever you want to say and think whatever you want to think. I ain't never been no bitch ass nigga to nobody in this motherfucking industry. You better check my motherfucking record. Do you understand me? Check my record. Big Money Music. When I was doing my first book before K Slay and Chaz died, Ch Chaz, uh, uh, Vlad, I've been trying to get me on this platform for two or three years. People would, yo, why you ain't got Gene Deal? Why you ain't get Gene Deal? K Slate, me and K Slate was rolling like we was doing, going places once or twice a month to different shows and everything and stuff like that. K and Vlad used to work together. I say, yo, K, what's up with that motherfucker Vlad? This nigga keep on asking me to do the show. He said, if he gonna pay you what you want to get paid, do the show, get that nigga an hour, whatever he pay you, give him that much. That's how that's the kind of show you give him. I said, so what up with him? He said, he all right. Chaz told me don't do it nothing unless I have a product. Don't do a show with Vlad unless you got a product to sell. I had a book to sell. I did the show. My views, everything went up. Yeah. But he tried to do some bullshit with me and I checked his motherfucking ass on his own show. Nah, man, don't give me that bullshit. This is how, this would really happen. This is what really happened. And that's how we went down. That's how we did it. Sharia G, Sharia G. Sharia G is a member, y'all. Oh, Sharia G. Don't start Sharia G. Sharia G is a member, y'all. Oh, Sharia G. Sharia G. Sharia G is a member, y'all. Oh, go shit. Uh, she's a member, y'all. Oh. <laughs> I'm clowning with that boy. Sharia G, thank you for your membership, mama. I appreciate you. Because she's a member, y'all. You ain't say my name right, Gene. I don't know. I, I was trying to be close as I could. <laughs> Get these books out tomorrow. Hold on. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Apologies should go out to Wolf Family, Vlad. Because... You being the Wikipedia of hip hop. And you get all the information, your sources, the people who was telling you shit was wrong, was dead fucking wrong. Chocolate City Girl, thank you. Common sense will tell you the person that shot him wouldn't have stayed at the fucking scene. He would run. Nakia said, Fed! <laughs> Fed a rally! Boy, 
Brian, come on, man. Brian, don't do that shit, Brian. KS, you're pretty. Don't get nobody pregnant on my show, man. I'm not, I'm not coming to no baby showers. Donnell Johnson, Donnell Johnson, Donnell Johnson Martin is a member, y'all. Donnell Johnson, Donnell Johnson, Donnell Johnson is a member, y'all. Donnell Johnson, Donnell Johnson, Donnell Johnson is a member, y'all. Donnell Johnson Martin, Donnell Johnson Martin, Donnell Johnson Martin is a member, y'all. Donnell, how the fuck you get hyphen Martin, bro? You got two last names? Donnell Johnson Martin. Thank you for your membership, brother. You got two last names. You could call me down. You can call me Johnson or you can call me Martin. <laughs> you didn't want to give up that Johnson. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. Oh, no, nah, man. Y'all not doing this shit. <laughs> Let me do this shit right here, man. Let me do this shit right quick. All right. Hold on one second, y'all. I'm going to get back to this shit. Motherfucking uh, Vlad, uh, Vlad, along with Katie, they put all this shit out on Wolf and his kids and them, y'all, and his moms. God bless the dead now. His father. All right. What else we got right here? Nah, bro. This brother was saying that I stand up for, you know, the people that was my people and everything like that. But, bro, this is what it is, man. They got these avenues on this YouTube. They come out here, man. You know, like, uh, like, like, like your boy didn't understand. If you gonna sit up there and say that, that I'm the cause of this shit with Diddy and everything like that. You know, you can't, you get certain shit that you can't say, especially if you're supposed to be my man. If you're supposed to be cool with me, don't say that shit. If we have a conversation and I fuck up, I'm a, I fucked up, I'm sorry. But you come back And you try to do the same thing that you just told me not to do to you? Come on, bro. But I ain't worrying about none of that shit. Not at all. Because I got Rashad Whitler. Rashad Whitler. Rashad Whitler is a member, y'all. Rashad Whitler. Rashad Whitler. Rashad Whitler is a member, y'all. Oh, Rashad Whitler. Rashad Whitler. Rashad Whitler is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership, Rashad Whitler. So now, this is where we at, y'all. I want to get this. I want to get this shit over with. And I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna give y'all some information that y'all really didn't know. And this is how snake and sneaky and crazy this shit is. I'm gonna go back to what I didn't tell y'all earlier about the compound of ditties. Before I do this. I'm going to get this last joint in, and that's King George, a King George, a King George Wallen is a member, y'all, a King George, a King George, a King George Wallen is a member, y'all. We got King George Wallen. His name is King George Wallen. King George, a King George, King George Wallen is a member, y'all. Thank you for your membership, Mr. King George Wallen. Check it out. We gave a big show today and broke down 
what was happening in this shit with Puff. And then news was breaking that there was tunnels that was coming from Puff House to the Playboy Mansion and everything like that. But this is what they didn't tell y'all, right? They didn't tell y'all, hey, Stephanie Hampton. Thank you for that, Stephanie. I appreciate you, mom. They didn't tell y'all there's a lot of houses in that area. There's a lot of mansions in that area and underground tunnels were coming in and out the Playboy Mansion. It, was, it wasn't only Puff's house. It wasn't only Puff's house. Hey, Tracy C. Crafty Mama 12, I hate to be one of your trail because you ain't that crafty. Because you know somebody that did something. How are you responsible or guilty of the crimes they did? I'm 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 away for that. Cuz he never committed a crime on my watch. But I'm I'm just asking you, how are you guilty of that? Crafty mom of 12. And how I know when he committed the crime? And what crime did I say that he committed? I'm waiting. Crafty mom of 12. Probably had like 16. <laughs> Couldn't be that crafty. Listen to me, what, what what a lot of these people don't understand is, is that I was in that field for 27 years. I'm never gonna say nothing, do nothing, or have anything that ever incriminates me on this YouTube. That's why I, my lawyer sent that letter to Fox. You lied, you said Diddy was, Gene Deal said Diddy, uh, what you call people? There was uh, drugging girls. Was putting drugs in girls' drinks. I never said that. Where did I say that at? When did I say that? Yeah, but mom, when you say stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you appear to be a bright woman, you can't say things in a manner in which that you trying to say that I'm guilty of something. I'm not guilty of nothing. Like you had these half a homo ass niggas say, because I heard about what happened to Usher and I told y'all this is what y'all could do to go and find out the information if you can because I found out about it when Usher was 17, 18 years old and his first album come out I wasn't the only one who knew and I didn't even know Suge Knight had said it a month before I even said it 
a month before I even said anything, Suge Knight has said something, did a whole show and said something about it. But anyway, listen here, man. Let this shit rest. Funky Fool 42. Yeah, they had they got they got several houses right there that tunnels lead to the Playboy Mansion. That's how they do it. That's how they do it. Was that sex trafficking? Was you was Hugh Hefner sex trafficking the Playboy band bunnies? To everybody house in that different area. <laughs> That's big pimp in there. <laughs> Yo, send her over through the tunnel, man. <laughs> That's not wild. These, I don't care what you say, these Jews, let me just say something, out here in Brooklyn, they had tunnels coming out the synagogue, going in, out, they had made makeshift tunnels. Don't you know when the police went in there, they fought the police and then they closed up the tunnel without investigating anything they submitted the whole thing in without investigating to see if it was bodies or anything down there hey kim hall anyway well they got some of them they knew what they was looking for when they went in diddy's house they knew exactly what they was looking for because they had plant witnesses in there and we'll see. But listen to me, man, y'all, listen to me. If y'all could do me a favor, can y'all get in touch? Y'all know y'all a lot of Vlad listeners and everything. Could y'all go sure and tell Vlad to straighten out that shit. Go watch Suge Knight. Suge Knight said the person who shot fucking uh, Jake shot him and ran. You understand? Wolf was right there to the end because he made Suge put Puff down. Let Puff go. The person who shot Jake ran from the scene. And like I said, he ended up dead. And I think he got shot at Magic City by one of the officers. I hope brothers can change their attitudes and give y'all more than what they giving y'all, man. You know, like niggas try to say that my whole platform has been about Diddy and Puff and all that bullshit, love and everything like that. But people who come and follow Gene know I have given you more than that over the years. And if I decide to stay on this shit, I'm going to always give you a little bit more than most. Big Gene, thank you for y'all support. Deuces. <laughs>